Draco here, and we're back for stage 132 of Build the Battleship Bismarck, the second aircraft in details. So first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to install a guide for the second anchor chain. So basically all I'm doing is using a pair of uh, tweezers to lift up the stern anchor, and then the uh, guide is just going to drop over those pegs, and then the chain will just rest right on it. Uh, easy peasy and then uh, we'll move on. So we're going to be gluing parts A and B to uh, the outside of Dora's barbette. Now I'm just jumping in right here. You want to be careful with the glue because you don't want to over apply and glue the uh, top of the barbette to the uh, uh, where it can't rotate. So parts A from the sprue 132-13 they're going to go into those holes at the, and we gotta remember this is the rear, the rear deck. So th right now Dora is facing towards the rear of the ship. So the parts A are going to go at the uh, stern, and then there's two holes in the uh, uh, what you call aft for uh, parts B. Okay, for this next section we're going to be building the ensign staff. So first, this section here I'm just fast forwarding. I'm just putting uh, some knots in a fiber optic cable. Uh, we did this way back in pack one when we built the jack staff. But just like the jack staff, once we have the knot in it, we're going to feed it through that hole, the fiber optic in that actual, uh, in the actual staff until it comes out the bottom. which is easier said than done. And now we're going to bring in the uh, deck and we're going to glue the uh, ensign staff base into those two holes. And then with that in place, then we're going to bring in the ensign staff and we're going to feed the fiber optic through that hole in the middle all the way until the ensign staff meets the deck. And it's kind of like threading spaghetti through a needle. Okay, so next we're going to take the ensign staff base and you're supposed to drop that over the top and glue it into those two holes, or I'm sorry, the ensign staff supports. Now, I haven't cut the edges off my ensign staff's fiber optic yet because um, I want to make sure I have enough length before I cut it, and because once you cut it, you can never uncut it. So instead, I ran mine from underneath and now I'm just going to feed the fiber optic back through the deck again and then I'm going to glue the supports into place and I misspoke the supports actually go into those two holes in the deck opposite the base just like that and so once it's glued into place we'll uh, we'll keep on going Okay, so with the other ensign staff support, we're going to do the same thing as I did for the other support because I'm doing this not quite in the order or the method they intended. So just like the other support, which is still glued to the deck, we're just going to slip that. We're going to slip the ensign staff and the fiber optic through 
and then we're going to feed it through the hole in the support and then we're going to feed the fiber optic itself through the hole in the deck again and then we'll glue the two pegs at the bottom of the support into those two holes in the base. So flipping the deck around we're going to trim the fiber optic we want it come to come right to the edge of that uh, compartment that the LED is going to go in, just like the jack staff. So using my nippers, I put a little guide cut in and then pull it away, give it a proper cut, and then we're just going to put it right back into the holder. Now you notice it's still a bit too long, so I'm going to trim some more off and then we're good. Okay, so next we're going to bring in our LED and we're going to label it with sticker D, I believe that was 6. So you want the sticker on the end with the plug and then the LED is going to go into that little socket nudged right up against where that fiber optic is plugged in. Just like so. Okay, so then we're going to bring in cover D, and it's just going to fit over it and matching up the hole to the screw socket, and then we're going to fit it in place with a PB screw. Although the instructions don't tell us to do that, we're going to do a quick LED test before we get too far on. So we're going to bring in our LED test board and our battery pack, turn it on, and you could see it was glowing yellow so everything's good there let's kill the light a little bit so it'll show up better yep and it's still working we're good make sure you're using the led test board and not the uh, motor test board or you'll blow the led anyway with that done we'll move on to doing some railings okay so something cool and helpful is the railings are actually marked by roman numeral so we're going to bring in railing two Obviously, it's going to go right behind railing number one. And then it's just going to fit right into those holes. And we're going to glue it in place. And we're going to do the same thing on both sides. And then we're going to install railing three immediately behind railing number two on both sides. Okay, so next we're going to take the two quad gun mount uh, uh, seating, uh, I guess they call it the seating group because it looks like there's three men to operate these guns, and then we're going to bend them all into place. Now, I'm doing the fast forwarding this at six times because this took like ten minutes by itself. So... We're going to do it a lot faster and then get to building the quad guns.
Okay, so for the quad guns, we're going to take two pairs of barrels. There's uh, there e there's one designated L and there's one designated R, and we're going to glue. First, you want to glue the left-hand pair of barrels and then the right-hand pair of barrels. Um, once you've done that, then you're going to glue that to the seating. You're going to put that in, glue that to the seating group, and then glue the mount to the bottom of it. If that makes sense. And we're going to rinse and repeat for the second quad gun at six times speed for brevity. Okay, so near the searchlight deck, we're going to glue two two centimeter AA guns into place into their little receptacle. And we're going to do that on both sides. So first thing we got to do is we got to relocate these AA guns because uh, they had us they had those fit us fit these two 3.7 centimeter AA guns back in stage 106. Um, so carefully we gotta break the break the glue loose and get them out of there, just like that. And then we're gonna glue the quad guns in place. Okay, and the two guns we moved, we're going to relocate to the upper mast deck below the quad barrel AA guns. We're going to do that on both sides, and then we're going to move on to building the second Aredo aircraft. Okay, we did this way back in pack one, but we're not going to rush it uh, since it's been several, uh, more than what, two years? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to glue the two halves of the fuselage together. So then we're going to take uh, a propeller shaft and insert it into the bore of the motor, and then we're going to glue the bore onto the nose of the air of the aircraft, making sure that the propeller shaft can still spin. Once that's done, we're going to glue the uh, propeller onto the front of the propeller shaft. So then we're going to glue the control yoke into the front of the fuselage. Uh, behind that, we're going to glue the pilot seat. And then at the back, we're going to glue the uh, tail gun. And then we're going to glue the canopy in place. Okay, so then we're going to glue the wings to the uh, bottom of the fuselage. Okay, the instructions say to you follow use the picture carefully to install the side struts. I'm just going to use the other one we built and uh, as a model. So the side struts are going to fit into the, um, I guess you would call them the longer slot on the outside of the pontoon. And then the cross struts or the front and rear struts will fit in the, I guess you'd call them the uh, wider ones. And once you've got your orientation right, you're just going to glue them in place.
And with that assembled, we're just going to glue the pontoons to the bottom of the fuselage. Finally, we glue the uh, catapult carriage to the bottom of the fuselage, and that's all there is to do in that stage. Um, I'm going to adjust the fit on the uh, pontoons and stuff, um, but otherwise, thanks for watching. Uh, this was a doozy to cut down. It was almost an hour of work before I cut it down. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you for stage 133, the, the, the uh, uh, circuit board and function test.